Hey everyone! Today we've got an amazing hack for your smart home setup. Imagine waving goodbye to cloud dependencies and taking full local control of your garage door opener. We're diving into Red GDO, an ESP home powered device that lets you rage against the old ways of garage door control with MyQ, a proprietary cloud driven solution from Chamberlain. MyQ recently locked up their API for third party access, hence locking out open smart home platforms such as Home Assistant as well. So what is Red GDO? Red GDO stands for Rage Against the Garage Door Opener and it's the brainchild of the brilliant Paul Wieland. Before we dive into the installation, let me tell you that this is a game changer. No more cloud hassles, no more third party restrictions, just pure local control of your garage door opener. Now let's get our hands dirty and see how to set up Red GDO in your garage. From flashing the firmware to wiring, I've got it all covered. Stay tuned for the exact instructions and don't worry, it's easier than you think. First, we have to connect the Red GDO device via USB to our computer and flash it with the corresponding firmware. You have three options here. Either you go for the standard firmware, which integrates with your smart home via MQTT, or you take the ESP Home software, which natively integrates, for example, with Home Assistant via the native API, or you go for the Apple HomeKit path. I opted for ESP Home, as this is the most convenient when you're using Home Assistant and it also allows for super easy firmware updates. The installation of the ESP Home firmware is quite simple. Just connect your Red GDO device via USB to your computer, open the firmware installation page, click connect and then you will be guided through the rest of the installation process. We will fast forward as this will take a while. Now that the installation is completed, we have to pass over our Wi-Fi credentials to the device. The device will now connect to the Wi-Fi and we can jump over to Home Assistant where it should be auto-discovered. There we go! We can now already see the device in Home Assistant. But, of course, we cannot yet see the status or control anything prior to finishing the wiring of the Red GDO device to the actual garage door opener. On the Red GDO installation page, you can see some wiring instructions. Be aware that those have to match the actual hardware version you have, as there are already multiple different hardware versions of the Red GDO device available. First, we open the lid of the garage door opener. Then we also unplug the garage door opener, which is very important. We can disconnect the existing connections using a screwdriver. Here's an overview of the wiring scheme. Be aware that you have to unplug the garage door opener before you start with the wiring. If you're not an experienced electrician, then rather ask a professional to help you with the wiring. In my case, I realized that the standard wiring does not work. After having finished the wiring, I did not see any status of the garage door opener in Home Assistant, nor was I able to control the device via Home Assistant. The reason why it didn't work in my case was to be found in the FAQ section of Red GDO. In the FAQ section, there is an overview of the different models of the garage door openers which are available on the market. So you have to be aware that there might be a special case depending on your garage door opener model. In my case, I have the model ML700EV, which is indeed a special case where you have to connect the red wire not to the red terminal on the garage door opener, but to the green terminal left to the red terminal. So once I did that, it worked flawlessly.
Now the magic moment. Let's see our red GDO in action. You can see how simple and intuitive it is to control your garage door from the palm of your hand. And you can always see the status of the garage door opener and never have to worry whether you left it open or not. And everything works locally. This is so great. And the cool thing is, Red GDO even gives me more options for controlling the garage door opener than I had before. For example, I can now also turn on and off the light which belongs to the garage door opener via Home Assistant. By this I was now able to create a new automation that whenever I enter the garage through the back door at night, the light will be automatically turned on and turned off 5 minutes later automatically as well. I just love it. And if you love my content as well, then please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell in order to get notified also about my upcoming videos. Thank you.